what is up all right guys so i just got back from a tuesday morning in-person client training session and little mama was cool enough to whip up a meal for me so we're about to head to the gym this is going to be kind of the pre-workout meal we got 100 grams of rice 80 grams of broccoli and six ounces of chicken so keeping it a little bit light for the pre-workout 120 grams of rice right yeah yeah 120 grams of rice still keeping it light and you know i doused it just kidding not doused it put a serving of buffalo sauce my favorite one from kroger but i got a back and bicep day what you got girl legs. she has she has legs so we'll be there a while um but yeah I am excited to pick up the camera and just do a simple little vlog today, man. Nothing, nothing crazy, nothing stupid with the cinematics, but uh, uh, we could uh, could go over this a little bit. Hey, man, we got the Berry Terry on Alphalete. This is like definitely one of my most just like comfortable outfits. Um, I mean, literally, like you could sleep and nap in this all day. It's so the, the material is literally so premium. Um, you can just feel the quality and it and then you know the stitching is it's just when you got when you're getting alpha leap you were just paying like you're paying you're paying a ticket but you are paying for the material you are buying but let me change let's get to the gym and get it in all right so we finally changed got out the crib way longer than it should have taken but uh, we got our Alanis today I got back and buys. Shorty got. Glutes and quads. Say it like you mean it, girl. <laughs> tell, say it like you mean it. Is that, is that the attitude you're gonna walk in the gym with? No. I guess. Okay, tell me, show them. Show them. You better search yourself. <laughs> Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Don't be. This ain't the time to act shy. You about to go train what? Glutes and quads. Say it like that. <laughs> what are you gonna train, baby? Um, yeah. No, I know, baby. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Let them know. Say it with your chest. Those are my Let workout. them know. What are you gonna workout? try? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys can follow her at Mariah. <laughs> to see to I see her know. workout on Instagram. Uh, she might be at like sixteen or seventeen hundred now. All right, arrived. You want to try this one more time, girl? What are you hitting today? What are you hitting today? It's nah. One more time. One more time. Just, not yeah, but but yeah. The, I like the assertiveness, but tell me what you're actually hitting. My car. Nah, she, she back on her mini mouse shit. One more time. <laughs> no. Like glutes and quads, like that. Enunciate and elaborate. All right. Glutes and quads, back and buys. Boss of shit. Got these new Eubora grips, really clean. Going to be utilizing them for pushing and pulling movements, but specifically those, you know, lat pull downs, those rack pulls, those movements where the grip really starts to fail you once you get fatigued. Um, but you can actually use Code Oak, uh, Brady Oak's code, head coach of Tua, to save, uh, I believe, 10%. Um, I'll throw his code and the link in the description of this video. They're really nice. This is my second day using them. They're sturdy, dope looking. This is the stealth colorway. And then here's my baby girl hip thrusting, just like she should. <laughs> Moved on to the cable easy bar curl. We got a lot of sets on this, a lot of volume. So it's 10 total sets. The first four sets are broken down into five, a five to 10 rep range, but we're hitting failure every set. So when I'm hitting that point of failure, I wanna be in between you know five and 10 reps. These are meant to be really heavy um, and we're going narrow grip, very strict form. The additional six sets, it's gonna be a little bit higher rep range, still to failure though. So I'm aiming to fail within the 15 to 20 rep zone. And um, you know, that I can cheat a little bit because we're really going for more of just like an all out brutal set, those last six. And uh, you know, this, this, this training day in particular is 
intense as fuck. Um, I kind of sampled some stuff from Mike Isretel, Isretel, I think, Isretel from Renaissance Periodization, and then, um, you know, blended it into my own style. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a, a uh, hybrid workout. It's intense as shit, and uh, the pump afterwards is just dumb. I can't wait till I'm in a full, like, you know, full force off-season growth phase. Gonna be hitting this workout. This is gonna be gnarly. You know, just in terms of pump and then strength progression, man. But my cam my hand's getting tired of holding this fucking camera up, this big ass lens. Let me knock this other set out. I also got the energy. Alright guys, so I thought I would wrap up this video kind of going over how it's been the first month of technically being completely self-employed and uh, being a tour coach. So I'll kind of just go through like a pros and a cons list um, and we'll start with the pros. So I think the biggest and most um, standout thing is definitely the fact that I get to create my own schedule. So it's 8.30 right now and I'm here with Mariah cooking eggs and we just pretty much get to, you know, dictate when I work, how I work, where I work. Um, and that is, I think, kind of to an extent, everybody's ideal situation and it's really crazy and I feel really fortunate to be able to do that at 22 and a new 22 years old um, I know the majority of people never get to find themselves in that situation and you know it creates a lot of freedom and opportunities just that aspect in itself let me not let my eggs burn but i absolutely love that i'm able to do that and um you know i definitely do not take that for granted because you know i mean i've been working for what uh, eight years at this point and oh shit did i grab that spatula or did you oh. yeah my eggs are already fucking up <laughs> but yeah major major component of working for myself and definitely the thing that is most exciting and that i appreciate the most yeah man creating that schedule for yourself is opens up a lot of freedom throughout your day all right so i got my little morning bagel i don't make this too often just got some egg whites bagel a little bit of cream cheese on here but second thing that comes to mind with working for myself after about a month is just like the knowing of i'm my own boss um, pretty much what I want to do, what I say goes. And, you know, like coming from a job where, I mean, we both work somewhere for me years. Her about, did you work there for two years, girl? Or was it just a year and a half? Yeah. Uh, her a year and a half, just like having to deal with just people we did not want to listen to, weirdos and people who just wanted to make the day, wanted to make the life a little bit uh, unnecessarily difficult, you know? But, you know, me dictating when I do what I do, where I do, how I do it, is definitely something that, um, you know, I love about being self-employed. All right, I'm just picking up the camera as these come to me now. So the third major positive I can think of is literally feeling an immense amount of value and um what's the word i wanted to use um fulfillment fulfillment from what i do so previously dude i was directing people where to stack boxes where to unload boxes um doing meaningless paperwork and tasks and it was just like that shit was not it like now i'm literally assisting and changing people's lives changing people's mindsets their physiques their overall outlook on themselves helping them accomplish things that maybe they haven't been able to do in a long time or maybe haven't ever been able to do and 
when you are you know playing a role and directly impacting somebody's life like that is a major um you know avenue to feeling fulfilled and especially when that is directly in alignment with your passion just fitness in general um it's just like man like i'm often thinking like how is this my life and then it's a quick snap back to okay gotta keep going never never uh never quite done with work um but you know that's we can talk about that when we get into the negatives um but yeah man major major fulfillment completely feeling like i'm living out my purpose my passion uh, so I'm just wrapping up my in-person training session with a client and so to get into the negatives I was thinking about it there are no negatives I could sit here I could nitpick I could get really 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 detailed and just you know mm, but there are no negatives. You know, the first thing I was gonna get on here and talk about that was a negative was the aspect of, you know, I do create my own schedule. I do choose when I do and do, or when I do and don't do what I do and don't wanna do. Hmm. I don't know. I think you guys understood that. But um, I actually see that as a positive. So, you know, like it's up to me to get my shit done. If I don't get my shit done, I don't get my shit done. If I don't get my shit done, I don't make money. If I'm not constantly pushing, marketing, and branding myself, I don't make money. And uh, believe it or not, as someone who, you know, as me, me, as Devin, and then also somebody who has ADD, which I am extremely aware of, you know, all the ways it affects my personality and just my makeup, my, um, uh, my individual cognitive structure. I am somebody who thrives, thrives under deadlines and pressure and, you know, you better get this done by this date or, you know, shit's not going to be good for you. So having that pressure of, you know, constant go, 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 uh, you know, is stressful as that gets at times, and please believe it gets stressful. It keeps me going, man. It keeps me focused, it keeps me hungry. And um, I think that that's a major thing, a major component for you know me being as productive and progressive uh, with continuing to you know better my systems, um, better myself as a coach, make more money, um, you know, stay on top of and ahead of my work. So at the end of the day, I really don't see any negatives <laughs> with f being in the position that I am in right now, man. And I just want to say I am so fucking blessed and thankful and fortunate and, um, you know, aware of the situation that I am, the circumstances I am in. And uh, I just want to give a special thank you to Brady for, you know, and seeing the value, the potential in the kid, man, because, you know, I'm going to do nothing less than seize and make the most of this opportunity that I'm given, man. It's just the life I want to live. It's the dream I want to pursue. But that's going to be it for this vlog, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I enjoyed picking up the camera and just talking to you guys. You know, just you, me, Mariah at times. But, you know, picking up the camera and not having the cinematics, just throwing the raw, the real at you is very necessary and therapeutic sometimes. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Hit that sub button. Use code DEV on Alphalee and Beam to save yourself 10% on your purchase order and help your boy pay some bills. Hey man, you know we stay Alphaleeted out over here. I got the Alphalee drip on again, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bow!